I watched this man wrestle and he was genuinely one of the creepiest people that I knew about. And I'm not going to lie to you, I actually used to believe that WWE wrestling was real when I was a child, up until around maybe 9 or 10 years old. And when I actually would watch this man, I would think he was evil and demonic. And I didn't even know Christ at that time. I didn't even know about God at that time. But I knew that this man was demonic and wicked. And there was even scenes where the WWE would portray this man as satanically possessing other people and speaking through them. So it was an agenda to portray this man as the most wicked thing possible. And he was willingly doing it. Take a look. And in a week from Sunday, you and The Undertaker step inside Hall in a cell and let <laughs> What are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are that was extremely, extremely, extremely demonic. And they even had matches where they had to bury people alive. So they literally buried The Undertaker alive. This was a massive event. And then he rose from the dead. You see the level of blasphemy that this man was involved in. Now, I don't want to talk too much about the negative side of this man's life. Because I'm pretty sure you all get the picture. There was even lightning that struck the grave before he rose from the dead. And if you understand the biblical significance of that satan fell as lightning then you understand how demonic this character was in the wrestling scene and the storyline behind him now what i would like to say is these events happened before i was even old enough to be interested in wrestling but i wanted to show you the old events because they was even more extreme at the beginning of his career and i was a really big wrestling fan so i would go and check you know, all of the storylines behind these characters and that kind of stuff. So, you know, it was pretty weird. But the amazing thing about this video and the part that I genuinely want you to focus on is what happened recently. Yesterday, I was on Instagram and this testimony popped up and it was truly, truly beautiful. Take a look. I think the greatest thing that you've ever done for me, though, is restore my relationship with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I've always, you know, I've always knew and believed in God. I just didn't lead my life that way. Yes. Um, I've never put a lot into being a celebrity. That mm -hmm. I, that just kind of flies right over my head, you know, because uh, that's just not really who I am. Yes. You know, um, but as you can imagine, you get exposed to a lot of different things, um, you know, because of what you do. And, you know, I live I lived a, a pretty excessive lifestyle. Um, so she says, would you please just, just go to, come to church with me one time? I'm like, babe, look, I'm going to walk in there and the rafters are going to start shaking. And, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I believe in God. I'm good. Just, I don't want to, you know, it's not, it's not going to work. But she, you know, she was very persistent and she, she wanted, you know, she wanted me to be the man that I could be. And. And that has nothing to do with me and the Undertaker. That's um, right. And so I went, and uh, I was I was. It was just the perfect circumstance at the at the perfect time. She she pushed me, and I went reluctantly. But once I got there, and you know, I I, I grew up, I grew up. Catholic, mm -hmm. and you know, so I'm thinking to myself, man, oh man, I don't want to kneel, I don't want to get down on the pew. I mean, after 17 surgeries, you could figure my body doesn't really feel good all the time. So I'm like, I'm like, so there were no pews, there were no, you know, I didn't know, there was no kneeling and everything. Uh -huh. And I was just, I, I just had this, uh, once again, it was kind of like the Eggman deal. Like I, I was getting myself worked up, right? Yeah. Because I, I was thinking, okay, all right. Pastor's gonna see me and he is just gonna throw fire and brimstone right at me. <laughs> Boom. Sinner! Sinner! You know? And it, 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 and it was nothing like that. Mac and, and Julie awesome. and his family, they, they were really awesome. And it was, it was more, it was more of a, like of a conversation, you know? Mm -hmm. And I found myself from being, you know, kind of tense and pensive to kind of leaning in and like, 
wow, this is, yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty cool. This is, yeah. Wow. And that started my, my journey. Yes. Back to leading my life the way I should. Yes. And, and, and Isn't that being, great? And, thank you. Michelle, and I, I, I can't wait for you to, to meet her one day. She is a very strong woman, and she had to be. Um, and she, I mean, she's the, put me in the right place for me to get back my life back on track again to what really matters. And I'm, you know, obviously I'm forever indebted just for that. And they're not even counting how, you know, she's an awesome mom and, you know, she actually just did her mobile loaves and fish training. So she's just, she's awesome. She's, she brings the best, she brings the best out of me. And you, you were telling me too when we've talked, it, it's so interesting and, and just, just to hear, hear what, what an amazing testimony of, of someone bringing you to church, of course, someone you love so much, and then you, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I believe you were telling me like how you knew about God, but then that personal relationship, that was, the, that, was that, that, that yeah. trigger. Yeah, absolutely. That was, I, I wouldn't have been able to give you, I, I wouldn't be able to recite any kind of scripture whatsoever that first day. Yes, I knew there was, you know, like I said, I was raised Catholic in a, yeah. in a, in a God-fearing home, but I just, you know, all my brothers, all my brothers had to go to Catholic school and, you yeah. know, taught by the nuns and, mm -hmm. and their hands pop with the rulers and all that. <laughs> I, st I still hear it. When, when I go home all the time about how, how rough they had it, but um, it, it was, yeah, it, it, was the, it, was the, it was the start of, of, of me and my journey yes. and, and realizing that there was a whole nother part to, to life that I was missing out on. And um, I'm not perfect. Nor am I. I nor no, is, no one's perfect. No, no I, one I here that. is perfect, Mark. No, no, I, no I, I, I get that. I mean, my, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still in my process. Yes. I'm, I'm getting there, but I spend, uh, you know, I, I spend a lot more time these days reading my Bible and, and, and uh, no. Excellent.